Welcome to Cherished Childhood. Enjoy your story. Peppa Pig and the Camping Trip. Peppa Pig and her brother George are very excited. They are going on vacation. Daddy Pig is bringing a surprise. What's that? asks Peppa when Daddy Pig arrives. It's a camper van, says Daddy Pig. Yes, says Mommy Pig. We borrowed it for our trip. It does everything, says Daddy Pig. This button here is for the sink and this one is for the beds. The beds? asks Peppa. Just wait, says Daddy Pig. This camper van is full of surprises. After a long drive, Peppa and her family arrive at the campsite. It's time for bed, says Daddy Pig. But where will we sleep? asks Peppa. Mommy Pig and I will sleep on this bed, says Daddy Pig. And you two will sleep upstairs like you always do, says Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig pushes a button. The camper van's roof is lifting up. And the camper van is just like a little house says Peppa. The next morning, the sun is shining. Since we are outdoors, let's spend the day looking at the nature, says Mommy Pig. Good idea, says Daddy Pig. What should we do? Well, there are lots of fun places we can visit says Mommy Pig. How about Duckland? What's Duckland? asks Peppa. It's a wide river full of ducks, says Mommy Pig. Peppa and George love ducks. Let's go to Duckland, says Peppa. When they arrive at Duckland, Miss Rabbit gives them their tickets. Enjoy the ducks, she sees. But the river is empty. Where are the ducks? asks Peppa. Maybe they are on vacation too, says Mommy Pig. Let's wait for them while we have our picnic lunch. I don't like to wait, Mommy, says Peppa. Cheer up, Peppa. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics, says Daddy Pig. Look, says Peppa. It's the ducks. There are lots of them. All the ducks, brothers and sisters are here. And aunties and uncles I bet too, says Peppa. What about the granny and grandpa ducks? Asks Mommy Pig. They are here too, says Peppa. It's a whole duck family. I love duck land. Soon, it's time to head back to the campsite. Everybody in, says Daddy Pig. I know a shortcut back to camp. A shortcut? Where are we going? Straight ahead, shouts Daddy Pig. The camper van creeps towards the river's edge. But Daddy, says Peppa, we can't drive into the water. Don't worry, says Daddy Pig. Mommy Pig pushes a button on the dashboard. Like I said, this camper van does 
everything. Daddy Pig drives straight into the water. The camper van has turned into a boat. Peppa and her family arrive back at the campsite. What will we do next? asks Peppa. How about a nature walk? asks Mummy Pig. Splendid idea, says Daddy Pig. The camper van has a treadmill, of course. We'll set it up with a nice view of the trees. Peppa laughs. But Daddy, we can just walk through the woods. Peppa and George love to take walks outside. They spot lots of animals. They see a bird, a grasshopper and a hedgehog. Hello, hedgehog, says Peppa. Peppa and George keep walking. Look at all the sticks on the ground, says Peppa. Daddy Pig told us to collect some on our nature walk. I wonder what they are for. We'll use them to cook our dinner, says Mummy Pig. But first, we have to pitch our tent. Tent? asks Peppa. What about the camper van? No camper van tonight, says Mommy Pig. We are going to sleep under the stars instead. Everyone helps pitch the tent. This is the same tent I had when I was a little boy, says Daddy Pig. It looks a bit little, says Peppa. It suited me just fine then, says Daddy Pig. Yes, but you have grown up since then, Daddy Pig, says Mommy Pig. And your tummy has grown most of all, Peppa giggles. Speaking of tummies, it's time for supper, says Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig builds the fire. They all eat tomato soup. Time for bed, says Daddy Pig. Peppa and George snuggle into sleeping bags. Stars shoot across the sky, above their heads. Do you miss the camper van, Peppa? asks Mommy Pig. Oh no, says Peppa, unless it has a button for shooting stars. They all giggle. I love camping. The end. For more such interesting stories, subscribe and hit the like button.